tonight, the chief of the Women's Tennis Association, Steve Simon, saying the new comments by Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai, quote, does not alleviate any of our concerns. Peng, again, in a highly orchestrated and controlled uh, situation, denied that she accused a senior Communist Party leader of rape. During this during an interview with a French sports outlet. Peng, of course, did make the allegation. She first did so three months ago in a bombshell post on social media and then largely disappeared from public life. In this highly orchestrated interview, she told the French outlet that she deleted her accusa accusation, quote, because I wanted to. The French journalist who interviewed her says they were required to submit their questions in advance and to publish the conversation as a transcript without any analysis. It comes as the IOC officials had a private face-to-face -face meeting with the weekend over the weekend with Pong, and uh, you'll hear what they had to say about that in a moment. I want to bring uh, Leda Hong Fincher into the conversation. She's a journalist who has reported extensively inside China and has written books about women in China's authoritarian society. So Leda, Pong was accompanied for this entire interview by the chief of staff for the China Olympic Committee. The journalist who spoke to Pong described her as very cautious when discussing the rape allegation. So when you put all of this together, do you think that there's any chance that Pung could say what she actually thinks or believes in such a setting, or is she speaking under coercion? I think there's absolutely no question that she was speaking under coercion. I mean, it's been over three months since Peng Shui posted this explosive allegation on Weibo. China's equivalent of Twitter, uh, accusing the former vice premier, Zhang Gaoli, of sexually assaulting her. And then that post was deleted within half an hour and she disappeared. Um, I believe, and a lot of other people believe uh, as well, that she's probably been interrogated, um, pressured probably every day since then, over the last three months. Um, I would not be surprised if she has been personally threatened, um, if her family members have been threatened. So she's been probably coached extensively um, to do these kinds of very orchestrated public appearances. And, and that's what we've seen. Mm. Well, of course, the Women's Tennis Association standing strong on this and saying this interview doesn't alleviate any of their concerns, right? They have been very clear that they want there to be a, a, a full and transparent investigation and into what happened. An IOC spokesman, though, the International Olympic spokesman, says it is not for the Olympic Committee really to judge at all whether Pung was speaking under duress when she met with the IOC representatives this weekend, right? They had a meal. So they're saying, well, we had a meal, but it's not our job to, to say whether she was under coercion or not. And they also still refuse to say whether her allegation should be investigated. Take a listen. It shouldn't be for us to judge whether there should be uh, an investigation or not. I think we need also to listen to her and we need to, for, for, to, to read what she's saying. Uh, of course, you know, she's not saying anything when she isn't surrounded by Chinese officials. That's the reality of the situation. What do you say to that? Look, I think it's it's shameful um, the extent to which the IOC is just kind of moving in lockstep with the Chinese government to just completely whitewash all of Peng Shui's uh, accusations. And um, note that they the IOC hasn't even mentioned the name of the former vice premier that Peng Shui is accused of sexually assaulting her. Um, and Zhang Gaoli, by the way, is one of China's most powerful men. Um, there's a complete media blackout about this case in China. Um, and, and I would have, I, I know that the Chinese government is, is behaving um, in, in typical fashion. There's a long history um, in China of the Chinese Communist Party of trotting out these uh, pr political prisoners or detainees to make forced uh, confessions um, that are televised, televised that kind of uh, just spout out the the Communist yeah. Party line, but but the fact that the IOC is going along with it is is extremely disturbing. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you.